Hi guys, I wanted to do this quick video on just a recent trip uh, to uh, basically Lake Havasu City, California, or Arizona, actually. And just uh, originally we were going to take you along on that trip as far as the trailer and uh, everything else, but unfortunately the camera... Uh, died on me essentially like a couple days before which is unfortunate but um, a successful trip uh, truck trailer did well yeah essentially had um, no issues towing um, no issues as far as um, tires um, we had one issue as far as the trailer and the little, I'll provide a picture, but the little uh, door that covers the back of the um, refrigerator, the little black door, a uh, little plastic snap broke off, uh, which we noticed that may have done actually before, possibly in maintenance, hopefully not. Um, but again, yeah, uh, tried to hear to good towing techniques as far as um, letting everything cool down at um, you know before we shut it down uh, gas stations and food stops and final destination stops um, the only one issue now I'm thinking back and I don't think it was anything on uh, that we did but uh, went to put it in drive, uh, the 2500 in drive, um, just as we got to the uh, entering the RV park. And it essentially had a little issue doing that. Um, I was able to kind of just stop what I was doing. Uh, I believe I put my foot back on the brake, which I'm positive I did before. And it might have just been the amount of weight or something. Um, seemed to take a couple times though. And I was able to kind of pull it back towards me and then it dropped down to drive. So it may have been just me not doing it right, which, you know, that's certainly possible. Um, but other than that, um, you know, throughout the entire trip, it was essentially me checking, uh, you know, whenever we stop for whatever it may be, uh, bathroom break, which Lord knows we took enough of those, um, food break, etc. I would get out. I have, um, you know, I'll include a picture of it. It's a little laser uh, thermometer checker. I was able to check the tires. And please leave a comment below. Um, the truck tires were running around 150 and now I don't know you know I need to probably do some googling but someone might know um, you know it was about 105 degrees outside maximum roughly um, and then let's say the truck tires are running about 150 and the the trailer tires seemed to it's interesting that the front ones would run about 140 and the back would run about 130 the front two there's three three axles so not sure you know that's pretty much normal range seems like it is starting to get some averages now on that stuff so um, definitely aired everything up before before leaving the house and then before leaving back you know from our destination which was beachcomber in Havasu nice RV park if you get a chance uh, the picture here I've included is um, you know out on a cove actually rented a boat and this is a picture from out in one of the coves the rock was interesting so I included it um, but there's some of the things you can do when you have the kind of the right setup again I really wanted to take you guys along but just due to the camera issue I'm gonna try and sort through before our next trip um, but um, yeah just a quick video to bring you guys up to speed how it went um, 
really no other issues do need to get a longer sewage hose container um, on these stellars uh, they just uh, they don't they give you a fair amount of storage on the toy haulers and it kind of depends what you're storing you know again we're not really using it for the toy hauler piece so we're using it the back end kind of for uh, storage and uh, storage of you know stuff that's kind of okay to put inside like I don't know blankets we put uh, we use some inner tubes we float around on and pull behind the boat stuff like that um, you know some throw down type rugs we use outside of the trailer uh, but oh well, thinking about ordering a, a tube specifically for the uh, sewage uh, hoses um, to essentially you know kind of use it for um, a little cleaner rather than putting in the the one on the the stellar is underneath the ends up underneath the bed you know even though it's a side door you know if you're looking straight out the trailer it's on the right hand side um, so it's not the best place for it and there's not a ton of room under there um, I have other items in there I don't really want to mix up with that especially um, so kind of working through that issue um, I need to order that you guys probably remember from the other videos the um, propane cover because that one is cracked so I think I'm just gonna go I found one on Amazon um, again if you click the affiliate link below I get it uh, costs you next nothing extra get a few extra pennies for uh, for doing that so I appreciate it but um, it's not a hard plastic cover it's a um, like a nylon camouflage looking color cover uh, I couldn't find one that goes over my toe jack so that's why I'm kind of going with this one it kind of makes sense uh, the other one wasn't really protecting the the jack anyhow um, the lift jack on the front so I figured to go with this one and uh, tell me guys what you think maybe tell me what you guys are using or you just using the stock one I've seen some people just going with um, just bare bone um, leaving the tanks exposed which I guess that's fine too whatever um, just seems like the right thing to do is to cover them oh I'm also looking at um, some gauges as far as telling me how much is left in the propane tanks so those are some things I'm looking at I've noticed on this last trip um, you know little things as you go along to try and add them in to stuff we need if it's come a long ways um, like I say I we actually were using this pretty heavily about a year ago where we add a lot of the current items oh one thing I just remember did happen I inside why um, towing back we had the uh, coffee maker your little K cup coffee maker um, fall down out of one of the cabinets um, so we just didn't put it in good enough just probably hit a, a little rough bump who knows what happened and it, it threw it on the ground I'm pretty sure it's broke um, so I have to replace that but uh, it was just I think I was you know we've towed it all the way from Texas out west here and no issues and I think um, with, with that same coffee maker in it uh, it just again we just uh, probably got a little rushed on the way back it was starting to get extremely hot we were trying to beat the heat and uh, we might have rushed it a little bit too much in that regard but using the checklists um, are great um, you know especially making sure and chalking before you know attempting to disconnect from the truck that's a biggie it's, I feel like that's a safety thing but it's all in the checklist that um, I'll provide again here um, maybe I'll figure out a way to have you guys download it too somehow um, through Google Docs or something but uh, anyhow yeah successful trip just wanted to get back kind of tell you guys what happened with the camera 
um, we'll try and keep these going as much as possible as as there are things to talk about otherwise it's just kind of it's you know might get a little boring for you guys so um, trying to get my technology back in in gear so that these videos are uh, worth uh, you know kind of doing and you guys viewing <laughs> so anyhow you guys have a blessed great day and we'll talk to you next time